Hi guys, I'm just making a quick video. Oh, there's my scented tree in the middle of um, work and just doing errands. Um, so what I wanted to mention in this video is this idea that you, if you're a victim of narcissistic abuse, like you actually expect these people to tell the truth. And that is the craziest thing. They've been lying the whole time that they've been with you. And I mean, it, it, whether we're talking about a narcissist, a sociopath, a psychopath, a sex addict, a porn addict, an addict, like they are lying to you, right? And we are so sometimes delusional that we expect them to stop lying. If this is a person that has shown a pattern of behaviors of lying to you, gaslighting you, lying about affairs, lying about their porn consumption, lying about um, cheating, lying about money, lying about uh, assets, if they've been doing that, why do you think that they're going to stop doing that and all of a sudden change? Like that is like, I feel like that's the, the, the victims or the survivors like delusion. Stop expecting these people to stop lying. They lie to themselves. Um, we have a saying in 12 step recovery where we talk about there's some people that are fundamentally incapable of being honest. And that even means with themselves, like these people bullshit themselves. They lie to themselves when they say that they're a good person, even though they're cheating on you, right? That is not a good people don't cheat, right? Good people can be, people can be cheaters. They can have an epiphany in their life, like maturity. They can be cheaters when they're 20 and then they have an epiphany and they decide they're not going to be cheat anymore. Right? So that's possible, it's possible for people to be addicts and then they get clean and they don't cheat anymore. Right? But if somebody is cheating and they're justifying their cheating, they're splitting up families they're justifying all of that. That's not, that's not a good person, right? So they're lying to themselves, conning themselves that they're a decent person when they really aren't right. So if they are going to lie to themselves to that degree, what makes you think they're going to tell you the truth? What makes you think they are? And most likely if you're on these forums, you have caught this person in an affair or they were lying to you about overlap and relationships or they were lying to you about money and assets or they were lying to you about something, right? Um, otherwise, you probably wouldn't be trying to search out the characteristics of a narcissist or sex addict, right? If, if they were, you know, addicted to porn and hiding that or lying about it, like, why do you think they're going to start telling you the truth? If they're shooting dope and lying about it, what makes you think they're going to start telling the truth? So these people have incredible dishonesty. They are liars. They're pathological liars, right? They lie to themselves. They lie to everyone. And, and then they, they tell a lot of half truths. So it's like very manipulative. And then they probably con themselves that they're not liars, but they are right. You've proven that they've been lying to you. That's why you're on these forums. So you can't expect for them to all of a sudden become reliable. You can't expect for them to all of a sudden become honest. If they are being dishonest and possibly fundamentally dishonest, like I don't know if they're capable of honesty or not. I think it probably depends upon what their particular disorder is or them being willing to look in the mirror and take some personal accountability, take some responsibility, stop blaming everyone else take some personal responsibility, look at themselves and go, Hey, maybe I'm part of the problem. Right. And you know, the day that somebody does that, that's when they can really have some growth. But until they do that, they're not, they're not real people. Like they're not even living in a real existence. They are living a life of lies. So they're not capable of change at this point, right? You have to be able to look at yourself in the mirror and get honest if you want to have any sort of change. And I'm not saying any of us are perfect. We're human beings. Human beings make mistakes. We sometimes lie even without realizing it or inadvertently, but like, are you looking in the mirror and going, okay, this is the truth about who I am. This is the truth about my behaviors. Stop blaming everybody else and start 
taking some personal responsibility, right? And these are not people that do that. They don't look in the mirror and go, maybe I'm part of the problem. What they do is they look outward and they blame their ex-wife, their ex-husband, their ex-girlfriend, their parents. They blame everybody else. They do not take any personal responsibility. Um, you know, there are some self-aware narcissists. I've seen some on some of these forums. There's even some channels with some really great, um, amazing people, I think, that are self-aware narcissists. And even those, um, those there's two men I'm thinking of, and they, they even, one of them says, look, I haven't changed really other than behavioral. Like, he's like, look, I haven't had like a heart change or like an internal change. I have changed behaviorally so I can stop burning up all my relationships. So I can start developing some truth and honesty and decency and, and some decent relationships in my life. And the other guy, I think he actually has had some profoundly, you know, sort of fundamentally profound changes based on his spiritual journey, um, based on some possibly miraculous occurrences. I don't know. But bottom line is these people, most of them are not self-aware. Most of them are never going to make a YouTube channel trying to help survivors of narcissistic abuse. Um, most of them are never going to take a look at themselves and go, maybe I'm a narcissist, maybe, or maybe I'm just part of the problem. Maybe I need to stop blaming everyone else in my life and take some personal responsibility and change. Because if you do not take personal responsibility and look at the truth, then how are you ever going to change? You're not. So these people don't do that. So stop expecting them to tell the truth when they have a pattern of behavior of lying to you for years and years and years. Okay. <laughs> This is this is like right to the this is uh, this is like the silver bullet right to the heart. Okay? Thanks you guys. Have a good day.